Hi everyone, welcome to the Optimization Data Collector Lab, focusing specifically on adding budget to your cost intelligence dashboard. So this is the lab in question we'll be looking at, and we're going to be looking a bit about how to utilize some of the data. So I'll go through where this is and how to set it up. All the information can be found in the utilize section of this lab. And uh, this is just assuming that you already have your cost intelligence dashboard set up in your account. So today we're going to look at deploying the budgets module, getting all the data together, and then adding the budgets data to your cost intelligence dashboard. So let's go. So I have already gone in and deployed the main part of my module so we don't have to wait for it. So we're just gonna update it today. So if you ever wanna add another module, all you need to do is click on your stack, update. So I'm using my current template and I'm just gonna add an additional module by changing it from no to yes. So today we're looking at the budgets. So we're gonna change that to a yes, next, next, scroll to the bottom, tick the two boxes and update stack. Now we're going to wait for this to all deploy and then we'll go over it once everything's done. So feel free to pause the video and let your stack deploy. Now our stack has been updated. We can tell this by the fact that it says update complete on our optimization data collector stack. And two new stacks have been created. There is our budgets module, which has all of our resources that collect our budgets data. And then we have our account collector module. So this is something that goes off and gets your organization account names and numbers, and we'll put it into an SQS queue and deliver it to this budgets module so it can go and get that data. So to trigger your budgets collector information, you need to go and trigger this Lambda first. So click on accounts collector and under resources, go to your Lambda function. Now you're gonna test this. So I'm just gonna create a fake test. This will normally be triggered by an event, but because we just make sure everything works, then we're gonna do a test today. So you can see it's all tested and I have three accounts in my organization. So there are three times this SQS queue is referenced. So the data is being collected and we put an S3. And then once it's placed in S3, then a glue crawler will go and get this data. So we go to AWS glue and go to crawlers. And in here, we can already see that budgets crawler has started. So we have to wait for this to finish while it goes and gets all our data. And soon we know when it's done, when a table will be added. Okay, now that our budgets crawler has finished working, a table has been added and we can see the success up here. So one table created. Let's go to Athena to see the data. So if we go in here on my optimization data collector database, I can see my budgets table has been added. So I can preview this information to check that there's data in there. But for CID, we need to make the data a little bit easier to access. So we're going to go into our saved queries. And in here, there should be a new query called AWS budgets. Click on that hyperlink. And then this will open a query. And all you do is run that. And this will create a new view for you. So down here, we can see my AWS budgets view has been added. I can also preview that table. So this has a little bit of a narrow scope of data. So now we've got it in Athena, we want to add it to our CID database. And what we're going to focus on today is just the data that is related to our billing account. So we go to QuickSight, and then from here, first of all, I want to make sure that the bucket you have created. So if you go back to your CloudFormation, click on your main stack and you have your bucket here, make sure this bucket has been added to your management of your quick site so you can allow access to the data. So you can get the bucket name from here. This can be done in the admin panel up here by manage quick site and then security and permissions. You can manage the data here. So assuming you've done that, then we can go in to our data sets. So here you can find your summary view. This is one that you should have created in your cost intelligence dashboard and we can edit data set. We are going to add data, data source. This is from one I've already made earlier, so you should have something in there where you can just go through to Athena, find your optimization data, and then from here you can see your AWS budgets view. Click on that box and click select. Now we want to do the join. So from here we're going to join three things. We're going to do year equal to year, budget year. We're going to do month equals budget month. And then because we're doing payer ID today, payer ID and account ID. So you should have three. And then you should leave it as a left join. 
apply these changes. And then when it allows you to click save and publish. Once that's done, you can click cancel. So this may take a little bit of time to refresh. So go in and make sure your data set is importing. And once that's done, we can get going. So once it's last refreshed is green and you've got all your data in there, close that, go over to analysis. I've already deployed my cost intelligence dashboard and saved it as analysis. So I click on my CID test and I should have some new sets of data in here. So you can see like budget information has come through. So we're just gonna add this to our amortized spend. So we click on amortized spend, click on the box up here, and we're gonna add in budget amount underneath cost amortized. And then rather than sum, we're gonna change that to average. And now you should be able to see in my visual, this 500K has been added. So I'm well above uh, the amount I've got to spend, couple, uh, one and a half K about uh, before I hit my budget. Now it's May, this is the first time I've run the analysis, the data collector. So I've only got one month of information. So every month this will run for you. So all you have to do is over time, this will track. So this will run at the start of the month and then you can measure it as you go per month. Then all I need to do is share, publish my dashboard and I'm away. So now that's in there, I can track all of the costs against my budget. So hopefully you have enjoyed learning about that. We've got loads of other videos for you to check out about how to use the optimization data collector. Have a good day.